Hello everyone. I finally got back in of my car now that I love. Um, ten stars for a Kia Soul. <laughs> anyway, let me figure out how I can make this. There we go. Um, there's been a setback in plans. I'll address that later, but some of you know I was at IU, um, College, Indiana University. That was not, that was not it. <laughs> that was not the move. Um, so I'm regrouping. I am regrouping. And... I have some financial things I need to work out, but that won't be a problem, but not work out, but there's things like, um, since I dropped my classes, I have to pay for them, but that, I can deal with that. Um, I guess my issue now is... I'm just trying to pr make a point, and I always talk to you guys about, like, just, if someone is just disgustingly rude, just move on, but I'm doing, it's not about me, let's get back to, I'll, I'll just address it briefly, um, I had to, to appeal, um, or I would have been charged, like, $600 fine for leaving, dorm and dining early. Um, and I appealed it, and I got on the phone to appeals, and the moment I started, everything I said was combated. Um, they, the, I spoke to two people, the first one was a guy. He was combative, he was dismissive of everything I was trying to say, he was trying to dismiss everything I said, making me out to be ridiculous, um, and of course they were trying to make say that I was appealing on something that I wasn't appealing on. I appealed because I dropped all classes, that's the thing you had to pick. They were saying I appealed for medical reasons, which I did not. And they kept insisting that that's what I was doing. Even in the letter that I... The nasty letter, because that's where we're at now. Where my behavior, due to my phone call to them, <laughs> um, and my emails to them, which were not nasty, I did not curse anybody out, I did not name call. All I did was address... No, in the emails, I addressed the behavior that I was met with, which was disgusting. Second of all, the other thing I, I addressed... Let me see. Make sure I'm turned... There we go. The other thing was... I just addressed the issue. I didn't yell at anybody. In fact, actually, the lady who got on, who was the last one, I hung up on her... Because she screamed and yelled and was completely unhinged and was abusive and was nasty. And all I did was um, email the person I was told to email. And my behavior, due to the phone call, which I guess they record, and it's, it's not abnormal it's for like businesses to record phone calls. They do that for training purposes. I didn't know you were supposed to record phone calls a business recorded phone calls so for the purpose of t completely dismissing the claim that the person was making or the person in question was making excuse me let me none of that's going to help me but anyway to completely dismiss everything I had said and then my behavior was concerning and unacceptable <laughs> from, pe from the lady 
who screamed and yelled at me. And well, our committee decided that you don't have to pay anything, which is fine. And again, it's not abnormal for a business to record, like have a recorded line. That's perfectly well and good. I didn't know they used those recorded lines to demonize the person who called. And my behavior was not concerning or unacceptable. I did not yell at anybody. I did not curse anybody out. I was not verbally abusive. All I did was tell them the reason I was appealing, which, my, in my opinion, they were trying to bully me from even appealing it. Because the IU Bloomington is about money. It's a, it's a corporation. That's what it is. It's not a place for you to learn. And really, IU Bloomington is for rich families who either went there, their alumni or something, and they can just afford to send their kids there, and the kids go there whether they, you know, like like it or not. There's a lot of, a lot of them were, like, miserable, and they were like, yeah, this place is a joke, which it is. They hire very abusive people. Bullying seems to be the way they conduct business, and lying to, is, I guess, the way they want to conduct business. I look horrible, excuse me. And my hair is not messed up. I just took it out of the ponytail. But bullying, nastiness seems to be the way they conduct business. And if you call that out, I don't like how I look. If you call that out, all of a sudden your behavior is a, is shocking and concerning and unacceptable. And I didn't call it out. And it was the w way from your phone call. This was in the e email they sent me when I got back here. The, from your, your phone call, which they would have had to either re have it recorded or they would have had to, the person who wrote the email, um, either just took the word from the two nasty people I dealt with. Um, which I assumed that was what it was. But anyway, from my, they said from my phone call, my email c communications, which I only had one. And, or two, rather, which I, again, I did not verbally abuse anybody. I did not call anybody any names. I didn't attack anybody. I didn't, you know, attack somebody's personal life or talk about their family or make fun of them in any type of way. All I did was I then complained about the treatment I received. And then, in the emails, then... My be um due so due to the email, the phone call, and my treatment of student staff and faculty, my behavior was concerning and and unacceptable. Number one, I had never did anything to student staff, so that's the bullshit they're peddling. And the two assholes peddled to whoever wrote that email, or they wrote it themselves. I have not uh, abused any faculty. So, IU Bloomington hires narcissistic people, and I'm allowed to say that because that's, that's not a diagnosis. Narci NPD is a diagnosis. Nar narcissistic is just describing somebody. Narcissistic behavior, that's describing a behavior. Nar narcissistic personality, narciss narcissistic personality disorder is a diagnosis. Their behavior was narcissistic. It was. What they did was narcissistic, was flying monkeys and triangulation and a smear campaign. Every, like I said in my short, all smear campaigns are done by a narcissistic person. All smear campaigns are narcissistic. Doesn't matter if the person who's doing it has a diagnosis or not. Doesn't matter if they're bipolar. It doesn't matter if they have borderline personality disorder. It doesn't matter if they have no mental illness or personality disorder. It's still narcissistic. It's nar narcissistic people do that. I don't care if they're man or a woman. I don't care if they're black or white. I don't care if they're American born or foreign born. It's narcissistic. And if I had abused staff and faculty, I would have gotten a write written up by the college and sat before whoever handles like student misconduct. So the niggas is lying. That's what they do. IU Bloomington lies to their students. Not to mention they overcharge. Their dorm, at least the dorm I was staying in, is not worth 
five thousand dollars, four thousand dollars a semester. It's not. It's not worth paying dining when they can't even cook chicken right. People were getting food poisoning. People were getting sick. And I guess it is for Eigenman. There, it's not normal for people to pull the fire alarm constantly, falsely, and the school tolerates it. And that's one of the things I complained about. And the lady was like, well, you didn't have to stay in a dorm. Nobody made you do that. Nobody forced you to do that. All first-year students have, you are required to stay in a dorm. Period. They say, well, you could have appealed that. I would have had to have appealed that once I got in the dorm. And when I got in the dorm and complained about it and asked people, can I be moved? They said, well, we didn't have any openings. The, The guy who I talked to, well, we didn't have anywhere for you to move. So... Fuck you. <laughs> so I should have re- appealed me living in the dorm when there was no place for me to go. And I actually emailed people and said, and said just that either let me get an apartment, move off campus because or a different dorm, or I'm leaving the college and going to a different college. The email I got back was, well, this in this it was the right people to contact because I contacted them before. They said, oh, well, we don't know how to um, process or this. We don't know how to process your request. So I did try to appeal this. And they expected me, a first year college student. It's not my first time in college, but first year at that college to then deal with all of that instead of assume that criminal behavior it is a crime to falsely pull fire alarms by the way that is actually illegal to do to assume IU Bloomington would frown on crime and the appropriate people the first time it would have been dealt with they did it three times and I wasn't the only student who missed classes because of what they were doing and what they were allowing. But that, me simply writing that was abusive behavior on my part, apparently. Then the other thing that my nerves were just, mm, nowhere in the co- housing contract does it say that the dorm I was in was a dry dorm. So all I did was buy wine. I already had bought wine and, and, and some some uh, a margarita and had disturbed no one was not a belligerent drunk kept nobody up but then was threatened with fines and all this other silliness and I already posted that video and I talked to several students and they, they not they came to me and said I was right and that that's nowhere in the contract so again when I put that in the email that I talked to several students all I said didn't curse nobody, didn't attack nobody's kids, didn't talk on nobody's child, didn't talk on the dead homies. That was concerning and unacceptable behavior. Fuck IU. And now I'm cursing. The only time I curse is on my YouTube channel. Because I'm allowed to say what I want on my YouTube channel. I'm allowed to say what I want on my Instagram I'm allowed to say that. I didn't say it to the people. And they didn't even say, oh, we found your social media. They don't know. They didn't say social media. They said, my email. Where all I did was outline the first time what I was dealing with and why I was leaving and then other things. The other part was, the other emails was, Describing the abusive behavior that I received from RPS and their appeals. Not to, and I just want to say the abusive behavior of the school, where when I'm calling to financial aid 
and try to figure out what the hell is going on because most of these niggas don't know how to do their job. I was hung up on, not once, not twice, three times. In mid-sentence, they would just hung, hang up on me. All I did was explain or try to ask questions. Didn't yell, didn't attack anybody. And I guess that, and then that's what made me afraid because now anything that I do will be just be called abusive and, 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 and disgusting. Anything that I do at that, that point will be unacceptable and concerning behavior. Th these are narcissistic people. And they, they were upset because I challenged what they were saying respectfully. And I wanted to do, say this too. People who... People think assertiveness is bullying. And there is a difference between being assertive and being aggressive. They were aggressive. I was assertive. And I'm going to tell you the difference. Let me turn this on. <sighs> assertive people... No, let me start with aggression. Aggressive people are not in control of themselves. Their emotions control them. Their emotions and other people control them. Aggressive people are, cannot control themselves. Their emotions and other people control them. You know, like in those videos where we see, let's go for the low hanging fruit, cops. Where they, you know, somebody, you know, they get in a back and forth with people, alcoholics and drunks who can't, you know, can't even put together a sentence and they're allowing this drunk person to control their emotions. Or this nasty person, whoever, or whatever they're doing, talking them in circles, being evasive, whatever they're doing, they allow that person, the, the alcoholic, the drug addict, whoever it is, they're allowing them to control them. Let them, and don't scream, don't do this. They can scream all they want to. And I'm not saying that, oh, it's their right. I'm not even on that tip. People can scream all they want to. They can call names all that they want to. The people have the right to be wrong. What if I, what, I'm just putting it out there, I don't know, and I'm just saying, what you do is either you just write them a bunch of tickets or arrest them for breach of peace because you're allowed to scream, but we will arrest you now for breach of peace. You are allowed to whatever you're doing, but we're now going to arrest you or ticket, write you a bunch of tickets for every single infraction that you have committed. They can scream all they want to. That's the difference with, with aggression. Aggression, and we've seen the aggressive cops or aggressive attorneys or aggressive law enforcement or just aggressive people. Is America believes aggression is power. You know, the, <laughs> I'm going to get a gun. I'm going to do this. I'm going to hurt you. Oh, watch out for me. Oh, and all this, and you know, the Donald Trump type of behavior and stuff like that. That's why they voted for Donald Trump, because they think aggression is power. Aggression that might makes right and aggression equals power. Aggression, and I'm not even, I don't even think Donald Trump is naturally that way. I think he knew how, how to play to, let me not go there, play to certain people. But if their hatred of other people or their disdain for whatever situation they were in or their blame, blame, here's the people you should blame for why you're in the situation that you're in. Lord knows you were broke before and by your own choice poor choices but let's blame the transgenders for why you don't have any money or whatever bullshit that you know was said or came came up with by not only trump but conservative people these are politicians they're going to lie to you i don't care if they're liberal i don't care if they're conservative i don't care if they're christian i don't care if they're buddhist i don't care who they are i don't care if they're black i don't care if they're white all politicians lie all of them I don't care if they say they're for women. I don't care if they say they're for 
uh, men's rights. I don't care. They're all going to lie to you. They're all going to lie to you. Sorry, someone just is walking. All of them are going to lie to you. Um... I noticed that wall didn't get paid for or and or built. So, and, and let's not even get into politics. But anyway. And I think he knew that wasn't going to happen. But, and I don't think Donald Trump is that way naturally. I, I really don't. I think he knew. And I'm not saying the entirety. I'm not making a, a, a sweeping statement. I do think there were good people who voted for Trump. Let me put it that out there. But I do think there were. He knew there were certain low functioning, low vibrational single digit IQ'd, hateful, racist, bigoted, anti-black, racist, just nasty, hate women, hate people, hate themselves, want to blame other people for the situation that they're in. It's on the right and the left, where there are a bunch of hood, big black people, or Hispanics, who blame everybody for why they're poor, or why they don't have this, and there's women who want to, all they want to do is play the sympathy card, and think, being, playing a victim, being a victim will get, get them somewhere in life and are blaming men for why they couldn't make it to the top of the ladder when there's actually women who are at the top of the ladder so you can't if there's women at the top of the ladder you can't say it's sexism you might say well those women that will play the game which i don't think it's all those women but maybe you should look at yourself it's on both sides is what i'm saying but anyway back to the point people think low-hanging fruit Donald Trump's behavior that aggression equals power and might that's an American thought process assertiveness is what I get from you know the eastern philosophy you know that type of energy where assertiveness is I'm in control of me there's a line in Narnia, the line, the witch in the wardrobe, that one, where they d- describe, they're describing Aslan, who's supposed to be the lion version of Jesus. And they say, and one of the kids asks, is he safe? Is he safe? They ask Mr. Beaver that. And Mr. Beaver's like, of course, safe? Of course he's not safe, but he's good. That's the difference between aggression and assertiveness. Assertiveness is I could it, I could go to ten. It could become violent at any time. I'm choosing not to. I am in control of me. You don't control this. I I control me. Aggression is everybody else and their mama and my emotions control me. Assertiveness is I'm perfectly in control of me. I could I could let you down right now, but I'm choosing not to. And that's even when you see a good like military person or like like they were the top of the top of the top or like police officers, good police officers, they're the nicest people. They don't run around in drama. They stay away from certain people. They don't flash around, oh I was in the military. They don't flash around their badge and say all this stuff. They won't don't wave wave flags in your face and say they're more patriotic than you. And they don't scream at people, they don't do this, they don't do that. They know. You could be six feet under right now. I'm choosing not to. 